Hello everybody, we are here doing a series review of the Florida Panthers versus the Tampa Bay Lightning. So let's get into this. So the game in the series starts off with Nick Cousins scoring the first goal of the first game. And this would be something you would hear about early and then later. So they take an early 1-0 lead. Then the man that many people hate in Toronto, that being Sam Bennett, scores another one to give the underdog Cats a 2-0 lead in this one. 11 seconds later, though, it's Toronto who gets on the board to make it a 2-1 game, and then Michael Bunting also applies pressure to make it 2 all. but Carter Verhage scores a goal. He would score multiple goals in this series. He scores this one late in the middle period to regain the lead for the Panthers, and then later on, Brandon Montour scores a goal in the third um, to end this one up and the final score being four to two and they ended up taking a one and nothing series lead in toronto getting this first game Toronto in game two was looking to get a lot of revenge here. So then, of course, Alex Griffith scores early in this one with just about two minutes into the game. Ryan O'Reilly scores the first power play goal of the series here for Toronto. In the first game, they went 0 for 4. And then five minutes later, Anton Lundell scored for Florida to make it a 2-1 to -one game into the first break, the first intermission. Also, I did want to say that this was the period where you saw Sam Bennett decide to do whatever that was to Matthew Nyes in the series. He ended up missing the rest of the series, I should say, as he decided that he was just going to grab his neck and then throw him down. I don't exactly know. For somebody that's more of an old school fan, that's cool, I guess. But uh, he ended up missing the series because of this. So that made him public enemy number one in Toronto. Anyway, in the second period, we saw Alexander Barkov score and Gustav Forsling as well to take a 3-2 lead. That's all she wrote for this one is the Panthers go into Toronto and steal the first two games and then get to go back to Florida for games three and four. Toronto looks to avoid going down three to nothing in this series in game three, the first game in Florida, and they end up getting the first goal of this game, feel like maybe they could get some breathing room. Then to start off the second period, things get bad for the Leafs as Ilya Samsonov gets hurt as Luke Shin ends up tripping Carter Verhege, but then falls into Samsonov in the net, using him as a pillow cushion, I guess you could say, and Samsonov's hurt. That means that former third round pick Joseph Wall will be in net for the roadside. Not too long after, Anthony Duclair does score a power play goal to make it 1-1. Toronto scores another in the second to regain the lead, but Verhege makes it 2 all in the second. No goals in the third, which gives us overtime hockey, where we saw Sam Reinhardt score early into this one about 3 minutes into overtime as the Panthers shockingly take a 3-0 series lead and have the Leafs on the verge of elimination. Game 4, this is do or die for Toronto. Justin Wall, of course, is making his first playoff start after stopping 18 of 21 shots against in game three ultimately this one started off well for him as he doesn't allow any goals in the first period uh, but his team doesn't score any either but then in the second William Nylander gets his first goal of the series and on the man advantage no less as his team goes up one to nothing then in the third Marner adds another one for it to go two to nothing for Toronto so you're feeling really good but, of course, Sam Reinhardt has to make things more interesting with less than eight minutes left to go in the game. He ends up getting a goal to make it a 2-1 to -one game, but ultimately the Leafs hold on to win this one and stay alive to force a Game 5 back into Toronto. Then, of course, in Game 5, this is another do-or-die game for Toronto, of course, uh, but Florida gets on the score sheet early. They were very strong to start off this game. Aaron Ekblad gets a power play goal, and then, of course, we saw Carter Verhege get, like, his fifth goal, or at least one of his multiple goals in this series, and then this was looking to be like it was over for the Maple Leafs, but then Morgan Riley scores one for Toronto. But then we have another goal that we're not even going to get into because it's so controversial about whether the whistle was there and blown, whether the puck was over the line, all that stuff. We're not going to dive into that. Eventually, Nylander scores another goal uh, for this with about less than five minutes left to go into the game to force overtime. But the guy that started the series, Cousins, also ends the series in overtime. Hard fought game in this one, but ultimately it's the Panthers that win the final game of this series. 3-2 to two so for Toronto. This loss hurts so much. This team has a lot of big names that ultimately kind of didn't really show up. Uh, Matthews, I don't think, had a goal in this series. And there are some others 
shows that in the early part of the series were not clicking or at least getting on the score sheet like you would like and then for them you also wonder was there a little bit too much celebration after they won the first playoff round since 2004 i don't really know but i do know that we probably will see a big shakeup or at least a partial shakeup of the front office whatever the case is uh, this offseason as while they did win a playoff round they probably should have gone farther and they didn't as for florida it's a party it is a team that has not made the eastern conference final since 1996 this is just the second time they ever did it and they got there by being chippy and taking out two big favorites boston and now toronto going through two original six teams and they are of course headed on to the third round to take on the Carolina Hurricanes in a battle of the south for hockey dominance down there congratulations to the Panthers uh, of course Leafs fans let me know what your thoughts were on that goal I guess or just anybody in general and what are your thoughts on this series everybody please let me know down below in the comments also please make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it subscribe if you're new everybody stay safe have a great night and you go of hockey all right Goodbye, Brigadiers and Brigadettes. This is your captain signing off. Have a great night.